As someone who plays video games, I have been interested in why people cheat at games. To me, the purpose of a game is to have fun, and this is best done by making the game a challenge that requires skill and thought. First, I went to the internet and looked at what I could find. This was much harder than I at first imagined. Being a computer science student, I often use Google because of its amazing ability to find useful information. However, the downfalls of society in this case were greater than even Google. About 70% of the sites that I was able to find whenever I used a keyword with cheating in it were related to cheating in marriages. Another 20% of the sites that I found were about academic cheating. It was very difficult to find anything that related to cheating in video games. After using a large assortment of keywords, I finally stumbled upon a couple of useful sites. Some cheating has risen from the fact that money can be made by playing these online games. Certain games have become a business of players selling items or gold or whatever else you can gain for real life money. Cybersecurity experts Greg Hoagland and Gary McGraw say that when there's money to be made, and there's certainly money to be made playing online games, cheaters come out of the woodwork. For these people, the game is not something that is done for fun. It is something done for profit. However, in my personal experiences playing online games, I've encountered my fair share of cheaters that do not gain a profit from what they're doing. In the game Counter-Strike, you can only play to play. Nothing transfers from game to game. Nothing is saved. There is nothing to be won except the joy of victory. Yet still there are people who cheat. The most famous of the cheats is the aimbot. It basically aims for you at the opposing players. Since this is a first-person shooter where the goal is to kill the entire other team, this completely destroys the game. By simply pressing a button, you can kill anyone in sight. No aiming, no missing. So what's the point? Cheating is despised by other players. There is no glory, only hatred. But still it is popular. This is an answer that the website does not discuss. It is probably an answer that no website can give. Next, I went to the library to see what I could find there. I found a book called Cheating, Gaining Advantage in Video Games. This book appeared to me to be a great resource that I could use. It was written by Mia Consalvo, a professor at Ohio University, and it was published by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Press. It was also published in 2007, so the information would be up to date and relevant to current situations. After examining the book, I noticed that the bibliography was 30 pages long, so a lot of research went into the writing of the book. I was not disappointed with what I found. Consalvo discussed many reasons why people cheat. One of these was the everyone else is doing it excuse. Some people don't see cheating as gaining an advantage over someone else, but rather as raising yourself to everyone else's standards. They argue that if they don't cheat, then they will be at a disadvantage and unable to enjoy the game like they should be able to. This is definitely an excuse, not a reason, because the vast majority of people who play online games do not cheat. The next reason she discusses is that players strive for glory and honor. As I mentioned earlier, players will not think highly of cheaters. So how do they get glory and honor by cheating? They do this by not letting others know or see that they cheat. Someone who appears to be playing legitimately and doing amazing can receive honor. People who cheat for this reason must be careful that they do not let it slip that they are actually not playing legitimately and are actually not as skilled as they appear to be. This brings me to the last reason Consalvo gave for why people cheat. It is the most despised form of cheating by players. They cheat just to be a jerk. They do it completely to anger and annoy other players, to cause them as much grief as possible and relish in the reactions that their cheating brings about. For these people, the game is not the fun. The fun is playing with other people's emotions. These people usually do not gain anything in the game by cheating. In my experiences, I have found this happens very often in games like Counter-Strike. After this, I decided that maybe the experts had told me all that they could. So I turned to people that I know personally that cheat in online games. First I interviewed my friend Jeff, who uses a map hack in Warcraft 3. This allows him to see the entire map at all times giving him the advantage of knowing what is going on. He only uses his map hack in unrated games, so winning or losing has no lasting effect, so he cannot cheat for the purpose of personal gain. Note, I am not completely biased in his favor because I am his friend. I do not like that he cheats in the games, and I would prefer if he stopped. When I asked him why he used a map hack, he told me that the game is much more fun when you do better and win. Then I asked him, wouldn't it be more fun if you just played more and practiced to become better and win that way? He replied that since he is in college and has to work to support himself, he does not have that much time to spend on the game. So I thought about that response. Most people agree that cheating to gain an advantage in a game is unfair, but is being able to devote many hours every day playing and practicing an unfair advantage over someone who has a busy life and can only play on occasion? I am not sure how I would answer that. Obviously you cannot punish someone for playing a lot, 
but practice does make you better and thus gives you an advantage over someone who does not practice or cannot practice. Next, I interviewed Stefan, another one of my friends. He also uses a map pack, however he uses it in the game Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is not a competition between players, rather it's a cooperative RPG, role-playing game, against the computer. When I asked him why he uses a map pack, he told me that he uses it to speed up the boring parts of the game. Rather than having to spend time walking around looking for the path to the next area, he can walk straight to it. It is kind of like hitting fast forward on a movie during the long, boring, descriptive parts and getting straight to the action scenes. I am probably more biased in his favor in this because I have done this too. Does this ruin the game? I do not believe so, because the point of the game is to have fun. So what is wrong with skipping the parts you do not like? This enhances the enjoyment of the user, while not detrimental to any other player. In conclusion, there are many reasons why players cheat in online video games. These vary by the person and the type of game that is being played. They range from helping a player speed up boring parts of the game, to giving them an advantage over others, to being a complete jerk to other players. Although, what classifies as cheating is still somewhat debatable. Is it cheating if all you're doing is cheating yourself out of the challenge of a game, for instance?